Number 14, point P is rotated 210 degrees counterclockwise around a circle with a diameter 20 meters. If the center of the circle is at the origin, which coordinate represents the location of P relative to the center? Now these points, as you look down them, are uh, these are all in X and Y coordinates. Okay, this point here is basically a kind of looking like a slant. It's like a hypotenuse. Now, what we've been told here is a circle with a diameter of 20 meters. That means all the way across is 20. If that's the case, then the radius, if the diameter is 20, and I'll put up here, diameter equals 20, then the radius equals 10. This is a radius. This is 10 units long. So our calculator can do a lot of this for us because we know that if we want to find the x, the way we did that from earlier is psi y cos x. So we would say that, uh, let me just write it out, psi is uh, y over h, which means if you multiply both sides by h, you can get the y value by saying h sine, or y equals h times sine theta, which in this case would be 10 times sine of 310. You could type that in the calculator and get your y value, and you could do the same for x. We could say that cos x, we divide both sides, or excuse me, multiply both sides by h, and just like on this left, how the h is canceled out, so they would do so here. We could say that h equals h cos, and so x equals 10 times sine of, not sine, I'm sorry, cosine of 210 degrees. And you could type those in the calculator. Now, I'm going to use a hand trick real quick. 210, you'd have to find out what's the reference angle. That means how many degrees is it away from the nearest x-axis. This is the nearest x-axis from here. So how many degrees is that? That's 30 degrees. So I'm going to use my 30-degree finger. Since this is in uh, the third quadrant, both the x value and y value will be negative. Because this is going to be going left. That's why it's a negative x. And it's going down. So it's, you know it's a negative y. So all these need to be negative, which they are. So now my 30-degree finger is my ring finger. So I take my ring finger, I bend it, and I flip my hand over. I have one Y finger standing up. So that means it would be 10 times. Now remember, it's Y over H, and H is total fingers. So I have four total fingers, which is square root of 2. So this will be 10 times square root of 1 over square root of 4. On Over here, the X would equal, I have three X fingers in the bottom, because the way to read the hand is that psi y cos x tangent is y over x. So the y y's are on top of the x's. I have three fingers. I got the 10, sorry. 10 times square root of 3 over the square root of 4. Now, obviously, these are negative as we just walk through because it's in the third quadrant. And so this becomes 1 half. So 10 times 1 half is equal to negative 5. And over here, this 10 would be divided by the 2. And so we'd have negative 5 square root of 3 over 2. This is my x, which is here, and all the others should be eliminated. So the answer has to be f. Now, a way to check this in the calculator from the get-go is we could have just realized, oh, they've given us polar coordinates. And so if I type it in the calculator and press Enter, the calculator will give them to me as rectangular. So I press Control parenthesis to give me a bracket, 10, comma, my, it's an angle, so I do control book, hit angle of 210 degrees. When I press enter, it will convert these uh, to rectangular. So that's my x, that's my y. Check your y value, it's correct. Now we just need to see, what is this? Is, it, is that 5 square root of 3? So I type in 5 square root of 3. 5 square root of 3, there we go. Hit enter. Notice how the numbers are exactly the same except for the negative. That's because this is negative 5 squared root of 3. So I should have had a negative there. And now they match. So yes, this was in fact the right answer.